Hey, hey everyone, we're back with some Ratchet and Clank. Let's take a gander at this nice cutscene here. Never be a ranger. <sighs> what? That's Clank making his entry. Shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. I must get to Alero City. Dad, they are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Hang on, slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54296. Yeah. Maybe I'll just call you Clank. My name's Ratchet. Uh, up and leave the proto engine on Yeah, I had to garage. cut that, actually. I try not to do much questions. commentary on the back end, but with Elgato and OBS right. messing hey, about a little bit I'll with the audio, the I had to cut out that cutscene there, unfortunately. Now we're now we're playing the level. So yeah, um, for like the first hour and a half of recording for Ratchet and Clank, this is the first time I've ever experienced this with Elgato, um, the Game Capture HD card that I use. It's actually an external thing that connects the HDMI to uh, your game console and then the computer, um, or the game console and the TV and then USB to the computer from the capture card. First time that I've ever had um, just audio out of sync with the video. And since I recorded commentary while playing the game, I had to completely re-record commentary um, for like the next hour or so for the Ratchet and Clank footage because it was just out of sync with the video. Because the audio was out of sync. So, very annoying. Large gaps where child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. So, any kinds of audio hiccups you might hear in the video, it's not from the game, it's coming from the craziness with my technical nice. side. A combustor! A combustor! I'm just being so bad on killing these nice animals. you could shoot something to open the door. My sensors indicate there is a switch across the way that can be activated with a combustor shot. Indeed. Impressive shooting. Nice work. Blark, what are they doing here? I have information in my data banks that poses a threat to Chairman Dreck. He must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back. Ratchet had to think fast. Perhaps the hookshot would solve his current conundrum. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. Way. Hurt, confused and alone, he scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. We're professionals! It's 
our job to take I think that's all of them. This game looks really, really cool and good. It's awesome. Whoa! Is that a Blar dropship? Correct. Model X60 to be exact. Also known as the dropship of death. Oh. Okay. Good thing we have these convenient rocks here to protect us from damage. Need more ammo though. Oh boy, out of ammo. Aww. A buster, huh? So yeah, this game has a lot of uh, similarities with uh, previous Ratchet and Clank games in terms of uh, like the weapon upgrade feature, Raritanium, which we'll find out later. Um, you can upgrade uh, the weapon through that. And then of course, the more that you use them to kill enemies, they also level up in that way as well. And then there's the nanotech upgrade as well. That, uh, as you kill enemies, you gain XP to kind of level up in the central top bar there. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty nifty. And there are of course trophies for almost every major um, accomplishment you could think of in this game. And, I, and I'll go over the trophies list I think later. But it's definitely, I think it's not too bad to get 100% on it. Or get the platinum as well. Incoming dropship detected. And there's collectibles as well, like uh, these cards that I just picked up. Um, they are hidden around the world, but you also get them from killing enemies as well. And uh, there are still gold bolts in this game as well, and they're hidden about as well. No! I wasn't going to clean up Jack. <laughs> like I was throwing the wrench there, like, hmm, maybe this might take you out. So yeah, the, there's much more action and in this game, and it's much more faster paced as well. As you can see here. So you gotta definitely be on your toes. You gotta straight. I just found something in the desert. I need to maybe find some cover as well. Interesting. So it's what kind of definitely uh, much more faster paced. I, I don't know if I like that or not. I mean, it, it kind of changes the let's get you fixed up the tempo of the usual you know Ratchet and Clank kind of experience. I don't know. But I, I mean, I like it. Plan to attack the Hall there we go, a little audio hiccup the there. Rangers out of the equation, Ratchet knew he had to help, even though neither he nor Clank had the upper body strength necessary for hero work. I can totally help. Oh, I could not ask a civilian to get involved in something so dangerous. Well, no, I'm not just a civilian. The Rangers are actually my uh, friends. Why do you think I have so many pictures of them? But why are you not in any of them? Well, someone had to take the picture, right? I mean, come on. I even have a ship. It disassembles so it can infiltrate enemy strongholds. And... <laughs> so what do you say? Sounds like a safe ship to me. That's strange. I'm picking up something from Navalis. It Novalis. appears to be some sort of distress signal. Novalis. But it is being jammed. Didn't they call it Novalis in Ratchet Dabiner. and Clank 1? Or is that what I call it? Don't worry. The computer would have told us if we were in any real danger. Fatal crash imminent. Would you like to record your last will and testament? Huh. Admittedly, that's not super promising.
Looks pretty good. Can't wait until uh, we get into more of the levels from Ratchet and Clank 1. See how they did the... How they kind of made them. Well, it's damaged, so cool. I fixed so worse. cool. Come on. Maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Wow. I'm sure there's videos on YouTube that show the side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, and I've Wait a second. That is, that is so rarity? cool. It looks almost, it looks like the next gen version of uh, the PS2 version. It's crazy. Let's use that vendor and put this to good use. This is so crazy. Wow. That's awesome. Here's where you pick your weapon. So yeah, Walking this is the upgrade uh, screen that I was showing earlier. This was featured in another That's Ratchet & Clank game. Um, and you need rare obtaining and you kind of upgrade it and you can get uh, bonus bolts through killing enemies and rare titanium from enemies as well. So it's all pretty cool. Makes your weapons more powerful. These things chain together. Go ahead and fill out the whole chain. Right. So right now this is just a tutorial. Hey, you surrounded a mystery cluster. Now that's gonna give you a big boost. That's all there is to it. Give it a spin on one of your own. I think I just might. But let's take a look at the weapons. Bouncer, which was the pre-order game. 100 bolts, I'll take it. For this awesome weapon. Yes! I just might make my quota this week. Oh, really? Parasitor. Now let's see if we can do some rare titanium upgrades. Buster. Isn't rare titanium awesome? It is. Trophy unlocked. Now go out and set the world on fire. Indeed. Alright. So we've got the different paths. Same as the first game. Pretty cool. Look out. little things from the first game. It's pretty cool. And if I also remember correctly, there's a secret all the way at the top here. Seriously, what's with all the jumping? Not a gold bolt like before, but I'll take it. Hollow card pack. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay. All right. Well, this is pretty cool, I guess. Rhino cards. Huh. All right, pretty cool. I wish they had some remixed music. That'd be pretty sweet. Like the music from the first game, but it's been like remixed a little bit. Makes it fresh and new, but also you know, vaguely familiar. Be a nice touch. He's 
using that new bouncer. We scared him off. Nope, I just killed you. What is that? A squirrel? No. No squirrel. Trying to reach for the bolts there. But the range is so much larger now than in previous games, so you don't really need to get too close to them to even pick up the uh, bolts, which is pretty nice. Seemed like he just died in agony. Jesus. With extreme prejudices. Oh, no. There's that audio stuff again. Thank you, Elgato and OBS. Oh, hello there. By the way, I think I fixed that, by the way. I think um, buffering was set to auto detect in OBS for uh, I don't think so. the uh, game well, capture. So I set it to yes. So hopefully in future videos, it's not going to be the next one or the one after that, but for the rest of the Ratchet and Clank playthrough, it should be. I won't have to actually go into and edit the audio as extensively as I had with this one. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Well, sure thing. I swear. Our soldiers. There you go. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G Dread ship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not, but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. Good news? They don't know we're coming! Oh, how so excited! sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you! Drek Industries is not working for you. <laughs> I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Ah, a classic did that choice. Did slide down a sewer pipe? Yes, he did. Hmm. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Just checking for any crates that might be hidden about. It's all about the gold, baby. Or the bolts, at least. Ha ha ha. pretty cool. They have the uh, controller vibrate during that part. Pretty nice. That was awesome. Want to do it again? That was awesome. Oh, looks like their buckwash is in trouble. We'll fix your ship in a bit, but right now he needs your help. We'll get to him in a bit. 